Good morning. Thank you for joining with us as we celebrate around the Lord's table. This our summertime communion service, Sunday, the 14th of August, 2022. And we are grateful as we gather that uh, we have the special song from Angela Randall, Come to the Table, Let Us Worship God. Come out of sadness from wherever you've been. Come broken hearted, let rescue begin. Come find your mercy, O oh sinner, come kneel. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't heal. So lay down your burdens, lay down your shame. All who are broken, lift up your face. Oh, wanderer, come home, you're not too far. So lay the grace. There's rest for the weary, rest that endures. Earth has no sorrow that heaven can't cure. So lay down your burdens, lay down your shame. All who are broken, lift up your face. The table is set, the table is set for all. Around it there are no divisions, no exclusions. And just as one loaf is made from many grains and as one cup is filled from the fruit of many grapes, so we, though many, are made one in Christ, nourished by him to nourish the world. Jesus calls us to this, his table, and all are welcome here. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. And as we gather around the Lord's table, we do so as well, confessing the words of our faith through the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, 
suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ, let us hear the story of how God's reconciling love prepared and set this table for us. On the night he was arrested, Jesus came to the table with those he loved, his disciples, to share a meal that promised freedom, freedom that required courage and sacrifice. He took bread and blessed the God of all creation. He broke the bread among his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body given for you. When the supper was ended, he took a cup of wine and gave thanks to the God of all creation. He passed the cup around amongst his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of the new covenant sealed in my blood for the forgiveness of sin. Do this to remember me. So now we do as Jesus did. We take this bread and this juice, ordinary things of this world, and in these Jesus has promised to be present. Through these, Christ works in our lives to continue making us whole. And as Jesus offered thanks for the gifts of the earth, let us also bless God for what we receive. Let us join our hearts together in prayer as we talk with God. Let us pray. It is our greatest calling and our greatest joy, O Lord, to give you thanks and praise. You spoke and all things came into being, the sun and moon and stars, the sky, the earth, the waters, and all that they contain. Your spirit swept over creation, bringing order, life from the formless void. From the elements of the earth, you created humanity, each of us unique, all made in your holy image. Your breath gave us life and called us to live with you in loving service to neighbor and stranger alike. Yet we turned away from you, and yet you never turned away from us. Through your prophets, you called us back to your ways. And at just the right time, you sent Jesus, your son, born of a mother's flesh, to reveal the full extent of your grace-filled love. Again and again, O oh God, you welcome us to your side with the open arms of a loving Father. Therefore, we join our voices with those from every time and place to proclaim your glory in all times and places. Holy is your Son, Jesus, O oh God, walking this earth, feeding the hungry, calling the lost and the lonely, bringing healing and wisdom to those who sought him out, he revealed your kingdom taking shape in this world. So, Lord, as we break bread and share juice together in his name, with your people here and in every place, we recall the mystery of our faith that Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit upon us, upon these gifts of bread and juice, and gather your church together from the ends of the earth into your kingdom, where peace and justice are realized, and joy will be shared at the banquet you prepare for us when heaven and earth join hands. We ask these things, O God, in the precious name of Jesus, our Savior and Lord, who has taught us to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Because there is one bread of life, we 
who are many, are part of the one body of Christ, for we all partake of this one memorial bread. And when we break the bread, it is a sharing in the body of our Lord Jesus. And when we bless the cup, it is a sharing in the blood of Christ poured out for the forgiveness of our sins. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. the body of Christ broken for you. Do this in remembrance of him and give thanks. The blood of Christ, the cup of God's new covenant of saving, gracious love brought to us through Jesus, freely given to us through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus our Lord. Drink this and rejoice. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have nourished us again, body, mind, and soul, through this meal. We hear your love proclaimed, so send us out to share your love with others. Here around this, your table, we have seen your love poured out. Now send us out, O oh God, to share your love in everything we do. And as we've been fed by your love at this, your table, now send us out to share your love so that the world may believe and let us do all things only and always for your glory. Amen. And may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each of you this day and forever. And we sing to God's praise, go now in peace. Surrounding you with
thank you for joining with us around this, the table of our Lord, in this, our summer communion.